Eighth, I would try to work on another integral from the UNT. That's University of North Texas integration B. This was sample problem number six. You have the square root of one minus e to the x dx. I thought this was an interesting problem, just because it's the case where I think we want to do a u substitution. It's not really apparent what we want to do for a u substitution. So you may try a few things before finding something that works. But what I found was a pretty good method was if I make my u equal to the square root of one minus e to the x, then before I take my derivative, let's see if we can isolate. Let's see if we can isolate x first. So let's first go to u squared, it's just going to be 1 minus e to the x. Okay, next we'll just solve for e to the x, and that's just going to be 1 minus u squared. I'll take a natural log on both sides of this, and we get our x value is going to be natural log of 1 minus u squared. Now I'll take a derivative, and we'll find our dx value. Derivative of natural log is going to be 1 over 1 minus u squared, but we need the chain rule. The derivative of this piece is going to be minus 2u du. So now I'll make this substitution here. So again, our square root term, that's just going to be u, but we're going to have this, we're going to have this dx, so we're going to have minus 2u and over 1 minus u squared du. And then now I'm going to rewrite this, but I'm going to get a little sneaky. What we'll do is I'm going to write this as 1 minus u squared over 1 minus u squared, because I know that's easy. I know that's going to cancel and give us just a 1. But now I've changed this, so let's bring a 2 out front. Now notice this here is just minus 2u squared. So if I distribute in that 2, I have the minus 2u squared, but I've added a 2. 2 times 1 is 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract that off like this. If you multiply all this, if you multiply all these numerators through and add them together, you'll notice we get back. It's just the minus 2u squared, so we haven't changed anything. So then we'll go ahead and integrate. We'll have our 2 out front. This again is just the integral. This integral is just 1. Integrating that's just going to give us u minus 2. And then for this integral, I'm going to use a formula. Let's just take a look at that real quick. Okay, so again, this is a well-known integral, and we have these two formulas on the board. Now the first one here, this integral here is kind of a common case where we can use integration by parts. And if you did that, you would get exactly this. You could use the cover-up method, and that would go pretty quick, and you get this formula. But in this case, I think what I want to use is this formula. It's just a little more compact, and it's kind of a nice way to abbreviate this, which gets a little messy. So we'll use this. We'll use our inverse tanch formula for this one. So for this part of the solution, I'm going to write this as inverse tanch of u plus c. And now let's just recall that our value of u is square root of 1 minus e to the x, and that's going to allow us to back substitute. Then for our final solution, we're going to have 2 square root 1 minus e to the x minus 2. We'll have the inverse hyperbolic tanch of our u, which is just going to be square root of 1 minus e to the x plus c, and that's it. We're done. Okay, good problem. I kind of like that one just because it was a tricky u substitution, so we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.